Hey guys, it's Robbie, and today I thought I would share with you on how to spot a fake coach bag. And there's a lot of different ways that you can tell if a bag is fake, no matter what style if it style it is, if it's like a crossbody or a messenger or a clutch, cosmetic, toiletry, anything like that. There's a lot of things to look out for, so here's some tips. I have three different styles that I'm going to share with you today that are authentic, just so you can kind of get like the feel of what to look out for. Even though they are different styles, the rules are the same throughout each bag. The first item I have is actually a men's bag. This came from the Coach Men's Factory Outlet Store at Woodbury Commons. And it's just a simple um, men's messenger bag with PVC canvas and the C monogram. This is a Coach credit card holder. Uh, this is the front of it and this is the back. It's just on a little keychain. This bag I can't exactly disclose like a year or like when it was made or anything like that, but this is a vintage coach crossbody bag. This was my mom's from I'm guessing like maybe the late 80s, early 90s. I'm not entirely sure, but it is all a very nice soft leather and it is authentic. And then this bag is fake. This was my cousin's bag and she was just getting rid of it. So I was like, oh, okay, you know, this will be great for a video. So I'm not exactly sure where she bought it. I'm guessing like I offer eBay or something like that, but it's very obviously fake. The first thing that you can tell with a bag is the monogram. If it has a monogram like this bag, the C pattern should be symmetrical throughout the entire bag. On the front flap, it's easy to tell that all the C's on both sides are perfectly symmetrical. It doesn't matter if it's PVC or like a quilted uh, pattern like on the uh, credit card holder. The C pattern is perfectly symmetrical throughout all pieces of material. Whereas on the fake bag, you can tell right away that just on this front flap alone that the C monogram is not symmetrical whatsoever. Th these two C's should really be straight down the middle if it was authentic and it's it's just a really awkward cut with the way that they have the pattern. And also straight down the middle, unfortunately I don't have one of the bags that has this in the real authentic coach bag. But right here down the middle where the two pieces of fabric come together, the C's don't line up. Um, on like the real coach bags, I think it's on the Maria style, where it's like you have like two pieces of material coming together. The C's may not be like complete, but they'll be perfectly lined up and symmetrical, so it does look very nice. Next thing we're going to look at is the lining, because this is also very important with the monogram bags. When you buy a coach bag that has the Signature C monogram on the outside, no matter what style of monogram it is, if it's the classic C or the more circular C's, on the interior of the bag you will not have a C monogram on the inside. It should be one plain color. You can see it really easily on here on the men's messenger bag how it's just a standard brown lining throughout the bag and throughout all the pockets and zipper compartments. And on here it's a little bit harder to see, but on the credit card holder you open it up and it's just a plain brown lining. Whereas on the fake coach backpack, I'm going to show you on the zipper compartment because it's easy, but it's the same lining on the zipper compartment as it is on the main compartment. When you look at this monogram, it's got the monogram C on the outside as well as the inside, which is completely wrong. Um, first of all, this monogram isn't even correct, like the way it's laid out. But um, even at that, it should not have both monograms on the exterior as well as the interior lining. The next thing to look out for is the leather. Um, on this bag, it doesn't have a leather strap, but there are leather accents as far as trim on the sides and as well as on the like part of the strap that comes into the bag, and again, more leather trim, but the leather is very thick, high quality leather. 
and it's very strong and durable and it's very very high quality leather and just briefly here on this um, vintage bag it's incredibly soft it feels amazing to touch but it's a very good solid leather whereas on this bag this fake coach bag it's just a very cheap thin pleathery vinyl material kind of thing it's very um, very low quality it's not anything you can expect from coach staying on the straps just really quick um, the stitching on this strap looks fairly decent but there are parts of it where they did screw up the stitching a little bit so that is definitely something to look out for if the stitching is poorly done or if it's inconsistent throughout the bag just look for that on this one with the um, strap that isn't leather I don't know what material it is but it's like a very thick woven material it's also got a stitching pattern here but it is consistent throughout the entire strap there's no like gaps or overlaps and it is very nicely stitched and also where it comes in on this little leather part just really quick looking at the little details in here on both of the grommets here these little rivets it says coach established in 1941 and it's engraved into the grommets just the little details that really make it like a high quality bag this may seem really kind of odd just to say um, looking at the logo of the bag um, that's definitely something to look out for and you'd think that with buying a coach bag like buying a fake coach bag that they would pay extra attention to something like that just because um, like I, I don't know just because you would think that they would pay attention to the logo just because it's one of the most important parts of the bag but they don't at all this is the real bag you can see right here it says coach established in 1941 it's the correct year font spacing and proportion like it's not too wide or too thick or too tall it is perfectly done and it is consistent with the coach logo year fonts and all that because it's an authentic bag whereas on the fake bag it's got like this metal plate here it might just be a really thick plastic but to start off the spacing in the font or in the text where it says coach is horrible like the a is way out in the middle and it looks like crap uh, the font is wrong to begin with as well the year is correct but it's not it's still not the right font um, it's kind of proportioned awkwardly as well so it's the, the font is a little thick a little bit too bold and like the horse and buggy thing the little chariot there I guess you could call it that is horribly done it's very fine detailed on the real bags and this just looks like crap just really quick this the fake bag did not come with a coach tag but um, my men's bag came with a tag and the vintage bag also has a tag when you get a bag that comes with the coach tag and it's leather on the front side it says coach and it's like almost like embossed into it it's not exactly embossed but it says coach on it and the ta the part of it that has like the side that has coach written on it is slightly raised and on the back it has nothing at all but on the vintage coach tags they have coach written on both sides again it's kind of like embossed or a little bit protruding from the rest of the tag but it's nicely done it's the right font and everything as far as that goes and on the back it does say coach as well if you're buying a bag online um, I would look for pictures of the Creed on the interior of the bag this is kind of like what the Creed looks like on the inside it's that little rectangle on the inside there it's made out of entirely leather and it's stitched into the interior 
I know it's hard to see, it's kind of hard to get into this bag. But that's what it looks like, and it basically has the Coach Crate on it. So I think that pretty much wraps it up. So if you have any questions or anything that you might want me to check out really quick, feel free to send me a message or leave a comment, and I'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching, guys, and happy shopping. Bye.